Beloved technicals here. So usually do a cubic video every week and this week's no exception because hey, views are views, right? Cubic Epoch 114 just closing out and I think this is, pro I probably got to the end of the road. If you've been following my channel, uh, I've been saying for many, many weeks, like 10 weeks I've been on Cubic. Uh, like I'm gonna get off Cubic, it's not making a lot, but I always stay on because of the way it's structured. It's very addictive, it's sort of alluring. It's like, oh, a solution. If you're unfamiliar, Cubic's chiefly a CPU mineable coin, very luck based, at least on Cubic.li and you get solutions and you don't know what those solutions are gonna be worth until the end of the epoch every Wednesday. So you don't know how much you're making and then on Wednesday, it's like suddenly a surprise. You find out how much you make and it's always a little bit disappointing in some way or another. And this week is no exception because this week, uh, if you could tell, if you go up the list, you know, there were weeks I had all my CPUs, all my GPUs running on Cubic, but with Cubic, it gets a little more difficult every single epoch. So they up the requirements uh, and it's pretty soon it's gonna be that you need four gigabytes of RAM per thread of each CPU that you're using. So when it gets to four gigabytes of RAM, uh, you're gonna need a workstation. You're gonna need an Epic or Threadripper or something like that uh, in order to have enough RAM to even be even remotely competitive. So this past week I had my two 7950X3Ds, both on Cubic, because I'm addicted, I want Cubic, and then I, I, I hit rock bottom. I found myself, I was outside a gas station and I was asking people that were coming out, you know, can you spare some solutions, sir? I mean, get a job, you fucking bum. Uh, so I think I am, I'll, I think I'm gonna leave one rig, I'm gonna leave 17950X3D on Cubic, uh, and then I took the other one and back there, what, what do you think I'm putting that on? What do you think? Yeah, that's right, I'm putting it on Salad. But I'm gonna be running some tests on, since Salad has to be on Windows, I'm gonna be running uh, another Cubic Miner, a Windows-based Cubic Miner that's in a PPLNS based structure. Um, so you get some sort of normal payout. Now I know some people have tried the dual mine thing with Salad. Now of course Salad has built-in mining, but typically you turn it off because the thinking is, the theory is that you're not gonna get container jobs if you're mining. Um, I'm not sure how true that is. I don't know if Salad has commented on that, but I did wanna try running Salad, no crypto mining through Salad, but also doing Cubic mining uh, while Salad is running. Now, I know that Cubic's gonna be taking up the RAM and Salad wants the RAM and there's just this battle for the RAM and I've only got 32 gigs on there, but I'm gonna try it regardless because Q Cubic Ninja uh, pays out PPLNS, so I'm gonna see what kind of earnings I get from Salad and Cubic at the same time. So we'll see. This week anyway, on Cubic Solutions, I found one, one single solution, but the payout per solution was 838, significantly higher uh, than previous weeks because previous weeks it was like three bucks, 352, week before that was 358. So um, it, was, it was good. And I took that 7950X3D off right at the start of this epoch. So two 7950X3Ds running all week, burning electricity all week for one single solution and still, and still, based on the calculator websites, more profitable than crypto mining. Because as of the spot check right now, it's either Monero or Zephyr that's on top of the list. What it says I would have been taking in about 60 cents in revenue per day per 7950X3D. Yeah, that uh, profit, <laughs> that, or the revenue per day is a buck 20. So you, that gives you your profit per week of 473. The revenue per week, oh wait. So it actually didn't, I didn't update my spreadsheet. Me stupid, sorry. Uh, actually, it did make sense to crypto mine this week because uh, if I would have had both 7950X3Ds on Zephyr, Monero, whatever it is, uh, total would have been 586 for the week in total profit. Uh, and my profit per week on Cubic was 473. That's just with one solution. So, I mean, kind of close. But again, it's that luck-based thing. If you're slamming the button on the slot machine and you know, it could, it could be a million dollars, could be less. Uh, so it definitely made sense to crypto mine this past week, uh, but we were on Cubic. So I'm going to leave one CPU on Cubic, and I'm going to try testing the other one with Cubic plus Salad. And if that doesn't work, if it, if it kicks off containers or something like that, I'll do a video on it. Um, then we'll probably just go into Salad at that point, because Salad's making money. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm approaching $10 per day um, once the, everything averages out, and I'll do a Salad update video on earnings as well. 
but that's the name of the game. I'm not done crypto mining. It just makes sense to migrate and do different things now. A lot of people are asking about Spectre as well. I think I'm late to the party on that. I'm not so sure about the, the, the block DAG blockchain or ecosystem that Spectre's within. Uh, uh, most notably, I know very little about it. And so you have to set up a Rust node to mine to or something like that. It's just above my pay grade. I mean, I, I've said before, the technical thing, it's kind of a tongue-in-cheek sort of thing. I'm going to fill you in on that right now, just let you know, to all the new people. There's nothing technical here. I'm just a normal guy. I'm just a normal, good-looking guy. So anyway, that's the song and dance with Cubic this week. I'd love to know, did you stay on Cubic? Are you stupid like I am? Are you hanging out outside gas stations begging people for solutions? Let me know in the comments below. If you're not already subscribed to the channel, be sure to like this content for more content like this. I'm the Technicals. See you next time.